because they give us an opportunity to take a look from a different perspective on problems that we know exist. Uh, this time I and uh, my mates decided to focus uh, on the way blockchain can help while they Read. Three. Do you know that three species disappear every hour? During the hackathon, more than 100 species disappeared with no trace. According to red list of uh, rooted species, one fourth of all existing species will disappear in the nearest future. So, the question is, can we change it? Yes, we can change it. And actually, lots of humans already work on the problem. The largest world organization, an international union for nature conservation. Uh, they have a lot of members, more than 200 states, more than 30,000 professionals, and uncountable number of volunteers helps save the earth. So, we decided to create an instrument that will make their life better. We decided to create a platform that allows you to take care of one exact animal. So, the idea is pretty simple. Uh, there are a lot of people all over the world, like volunteers, like scientists, who take care of animals, and they need support. And a lot of people all over the world, they already donate to save animals. So our idea is to give an instrument that will allow uh, a donation to support exact animals, to track its history, and of course, uh, donators, oh sorry, not the donators, uh, people who work with animals, they'll well, use blockchain to store information about this animal, to send reports uh, through the blockchain and so on. So, uh, our idea is that in this situation, blockchain really can help. I think the most important thing is empathy. Empathy makes us, well, human beings. And uh, right now, if you want to uh, donate, uh, well, if you want to save uh, an animal, you can donate to a huge organization. You not saving an exact one animal, but you just give money to an organization. And with our platform, you'll know that you save this one exact animal. Animal, sorry. Well, the next thing is pretty obvious. Charity is a highly corrupted area, and uh, as we know, blockchain can help in that situation. And the last important hypothesis is that, well, animals live all over the world. They live in different states, on different continents. And people from different states, from different countries, with different citizenships, they want to support these animals. And blockchain is a perfect intermediate that allows all the parties to communicate in secure and trust manner. So that's cool. Uh, but during the process, we realized that uh, our project can be extended. And the core feature of the project is, well, is reports. Because when a person could take care of an uh, animal, uh, he uploads all the data about the animal, I mean, his paintings and so on, to the blockchain. And with that technology, I mean, uh, in blockchain we store information about animals. And people already have a lot of different, different ledgers that store information about animals. For example, in lots of cities, there are wild dogs. And there are special services that take care of these dogs. They mark every uh, dog with a special number. And uh, our platform, potentially, of course, uh, can handle such information and let it be used for some good ideas. Moreover, if this becomes, I mean, if well, I did some uh, dogs, will be changed to things like a Bluetooth LE, this device allows to, they work for five years and um, they send, send some information. And for example, a pedestrian a volunteer has a, our application in his phone, he go, just, he go for a walk in his city and application can track well, where uh, these dogs are. And all that information can be stored in the blockchain. And a lot of such cases can be found. And we realized that basically we can create uh, well, a list of all existing species. And it will help us, I mean us humans, to better understand how ecology works on our planet. 
It will help us to analyze climate changes. It will help us to fight diseases just because we have enough information to analyze. Uh, now I want to... Sorry? Something went wrong. Okay. We have created a lot of uh, uh, design scenarios. Uh, we have uh, uh, created a couple of uh, uh, screen uh, maps of screen, and uh, right now I want to show you how it works. Oh yeah, one important thing: we have created a fully operational landing page. Uh, you can open it at uh, new-noah.com. It's working, it contains uh, analytics, and uh, we think it looks beautiful. <laughs> well, but we also created a small prototype. We have created a mobile application that uh, well, you can use it to add a new animal to the list. You can take a photo like this. That's all, and I'll help you to answer on your questions. Well, thank you for a very nice presentation. Uh, how do you want also to make business, or what's your idea about uh, where, where this uh, model will be sustainable? Or how will it be sustainable? Uh, well, actually, as I said, it's already working. I mean, a lot of volunteers all over the world, they already donate to support animals. The biggest organization, I, uh, International Union for Nature Conservation, it's well, a public organization it, uh, supported by donators. So our idea is, is that this project shouldn't be monetized. Uh, developers, they can create a code. It's a pretty simple idea. They can create it. And using the blockchain, uh, well, a direct support of animals can take place. And if we don't take any commission, it means that more animals uh, will be saved, more lives will be saved. So that's why we don't want to take money for, for, for the project. Okay, uh, thanks for the amazing presentation and, and the idea. Um, but then, who will be your client? As I said, for example, International Union for okay. Nature Conservation. They already have similar mechanics, just they do not use a blockchain. In Russia, we have a lot of uh, organizations that can use it. Thank you. Thank you.